Sconger outdoor style camping on Dartmoor under a bridge, hobo style. Well, I just thought I'd do the usual opener on the uh, the track, just walking away from that tall car park. And uh, here we've got Brat Tour up there. So uh, yeah, it's quarter five. Got down here quite late in the end. Um, I have just had a very lucky escape. Just met up with a few reprobates, uh, about 20 minutes up the road. Fog and Tour Quarry Car Park. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's had a lucky escape. Almost was gonna count with them tonight. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Carl, uh, Carl from uh, Dartmoor Explorer, uh, Kent Survival, it's Andy, and uh, Hoop Bivy Wild Camper, sorry if I got your name wrong, um, and uh, there's another chap there but I didn't, didn't wasn't quite sure who that was. Um, yeah, they've been up on Fur Tour last night and they are just, I think they're just going up to King's Tour, which is just a very short walk from the car park. So I kind of changed my mind and fancied a bit of a longer walk. I'm not going too far tonight because, like I said, it is quarter five. Um, and tomorrow, see how it goes, but I'll probably do a bit of a bit of a hike tomorrow. Last time I was here, uh, the river was exactly where Ellie was. It um, was as high as that. Just goes to show how dry it's uh, been. Just up on top of Great Northern now. Um, some beautiful views all around us here. Welcome back guys, um, as you can see I've pitched up now, um, not a massive walk really, uh, just a nice pleasurable easy circular route. I um, walked up to uh, Great Nodding and uh, went round uh, Great Links, dropped down to Bleak House Ruin, got a couple of litres of water and uh, come on back round the other side of Great Links and over to Arms Tour, which is where I am now. So I've not uh, not been out for about five weeks now. Last time I was out was when I um, was on walking the Two Moors Way, uh, which I didn't complete um, due to uh, illness. If you didn't watch that video, you can go back and watch that. Um, on that note, I will be I will be finishing that walk, um, just not at the moment. I haven't got the time to do that at the moment um, but I will be towards the end of the year this is the um, got the monk tarp out today and that's actually I worked out went back and worked out my last time the last time I used this monk tarp was 11 months ago and it's actually my favorite tarp 11 months so um, yeah pleased to have this out today oh, I'll have to show you around camp <laughs> Early. She's had her dinner. Gonna get a nice, nice sunset over there. I did want to pitch that way, um, door facing that way, because that's a nice view down there. But the wind's coming in, and at times it's quite strong. So obviously it made sense to put the back end down there. So I may, may get the sunrise from over there. So in the morning. So. 
so that's something to wake up to that's the bonus i think this is where um carl uh, dead fall outdoors pitched last weekend in fact i'm certain it is exactly the same pitch he was on uh, last friday i think so yeah I remember him saying it's full of sheep shit. It was a game, mate. <laughs> I, had to, I had to spend a few minutes clearing it before I uh, before I did anything else. So yeah, I've got a new bit of kit out with me today, which I'm uh, trying out for the first time. Alp kit cloud cover, um, down quilt. So I've wanted a quilt for I don't know six months or more. I've been looking and I could never make up my mind. And I've been looking at some that are sort of, you know, two, three hundred pounds. Um, I've never had a quilt before, so I've gone for this. This is um, Alp Kit's good stuff, and it's very reasonably priced. This was 99 quid. I mean, it's only gonna be about two season. It's not gonna be something I'd wanna use in the winter, but it's fine for this time of year. It's about 500 grams. Packs down to that. Brilliant. So, um, yes, let's get it out and have a look. So, yeah, obviously it needs a bit of time to loft, but when it does, for the price of it, it seems to be um, all right. Uh, there was, the only bad reviews I could see on it was, it wasn't long enough. Um, anyone sort of six foot or taller was complaining about it, but I don't understand that because I've had a good go of it at home. And, I can bring it up to um, almost up to my chin, so I think that's good enough. So I think if you're sort of six one, six two, I'm six foot, so if you're going to be sort of nearer six two, it's definitely not going to be good enough. But I can't see what people are complaining about. I think it's plenty long enough. Got the poppers here, so I can do that up and um, clinch it at the top, at the bottom. If I do get a bit cold, a bit of breeze. You're always going to still get a bit of a breeze because you've got gaps here between the poppers but yeah so it's going to be my first night in it and um i'll give you my verdict in the morning um when i saw the the guys earlier on this afternoon um they uh they did say it was actually quite a cold night last night they were out on fur tour last night and they did say it was a very cold wind um so I don't know, it's not too bad at the moment. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll come back to you in the morning. His music is saying, F you to the audience, but in a really beautiful way. It's like, F you, I love you. Now let me play you some beautiful music, you know? So there's this feeling like um, they're gonna do whatever they want and, and assert their own will and not worry about how it's being understood or whatever. Yet the wonderful thing about that is that Morning guys, <clears throat> it's um, half past five and I'm just waiting for the sun to pop on up, it's um, just coming off and up over Great Links there, which is um, it's a bit higher up than me so I can't quite, can't quite see it yet. What a great night, I had a really really nice night last night, um, definitely definitely, um, I'm definitely converted to quilts very comfortable I'm just getting some water boiling need a coffee <coughs> definitely converted to quilts um, nice and warm last night really cold wind out of the tub I got in about 9.30 quarter to 10 
and um, yeah, it was kind of kind of needed to get in. It was getting um, really really cold wind by then. Um, once I got in, I was fine. Um, instantly felt the heat off of that quilt. Um, no problems. I went to bed with a down jacket on because I had it whilst I was sort of sitting around outside. Soon had to take that off. Literally, all I had last night was just my. Um, it's just this on. This thin base layer. And it's toasty warm. So, um, I think my Rab um, sleeping bag is um, going to go up for sale. I'm going to get my. Um, get a winter quilt as nice as this help kit one is it's probably no good for winter so yeah it's just nice having the um, the freedom to be able to sleep how you want to sleep I quite like putting my knees up um, and you can't do that in a sleeping bag so yeah it was really nice Ellie had a good night <clears throat> she's just having a little wander at the moment Hi pups. Yeah, so um, I'm going to have a coffee and some brekkie and um, try and go and uh, get the time lapse. Just want to do a real quick shout out before I go to uh, Baza from work. Thanks for lending me your poles, mate. Appreciate it. Sold them these early this year and uh, I borrowed them back. <laughs> My leckies broke. I didn't mention it actually, it's on the two malls way. They fell twice before that and they failed again on the two malls way right at the beginning of the walk. There's just one that I couldn't get to lock. Um, so they've gone back but I've not got a new set yet. So, uh, yeah. But cheers, Baza.